I was here six days at the end. Leaving Missour, I stayed longer than I expected. My warm shower host in uh, Melilla knows the owner of uh, one of the hotels here. It got really cold this week, so uh, it's freezing at night. Tonight is gonna be minus four, and uh, it's cold even during the day. Bonjour. The hotel was super cold. So I think uh, the buildings are made for uh, when it's very hot in the summer, so it's cooler inside. But in the winter, it's super cold. I think it was like two, three degrees colder inside. And this is just outside Mitsur. Beautiful, beautiful. Except the plastic, but beautiful. I plot out a route to Merzuga via another small city where I could get there in three, four days. And, uh, and I did that because uh, I might need to have a Wi-Fi connection for a day or two. That's my route. Nice! Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. Look at this. Three hundred and sixty degrees of beautiful. I love deserts. I love them. That thing closer to the mountains. It's gonna be tough the next couple of days. I need to cross this mountain range. It's gonna be pretty cold up there. But the weather should be good. Let's go and see the camels up close. I'm not taking a detour. This is my route. I think the camels belongs to these people. It's a few kilometers away, but yeah. For Komoot, this is a road, a highway. Great road, great road. I love the confidence of German. Komoot in Morocco is dangerous. There is no road, no trail, there's nothing. So I'm going at a 90 degree. I cross these uh, few hills and there will be a dirt road that I can follow. I look at the satellite map and there is no trail, nothing. And Komoot wants me to go for several, several kilometers straight on a straight line. It's, it's impossible. It's, yeah. And there are a few canyons to cross. I, yeah, no. So I will go back to this dirt road, should be one or two kilometers here. And then I will follow that dirt road and it will take me to a little village. And then from there, I can go back to the route of Komoot to these mountains. But now I'm starting to, to doubt the, this route because if it puts me in some trails in the mountains that disappears in the middle of nowhere, then it's a problem. Okay, this is a road I can trust. It's gonna be a bit longer, maybe 10 kilometers or a little bit longer. Rolling hills. The landscape is changing now that I'm getting closer to the mountains. Still very beautiful. Temperature is dropping fast. My hands are already pretty cold. And my legs are two pieces of wood today, this afternoon. I think I will uh, 
camp early. I'm already freezing. Sunset and moonrise. Good night. Cold, cold night. Very cold. I checked my thermometer at four and it said minus five. And uh, the temperature is supposed to drop again. If I don't change my route, I need to plan crossing the mountain tomorrow. Like arrive at the very foot of the mountain tonight, camp there, and then uh, go up tomorrow. <laughs> We're playing football now, they look suspicious at me. Salam! They were really cheerful playing football. And then they saw me. And they got really quiet. Kind of scared. I must be looking mean as fuck. It's getting warmer and this is my last village before the mountains if I stick to the same route so it'd be nice if I could find uh, some warm food but it looks like a very small village I doubt there is a restaurant um, I'll have to stop and think a little bit on my route because there are a few clouds, we need to check the weather forecast. It's supposed to, re to snow on Friday in this area. Dogs, bike, and uh, some eggs with tomatoes, bread, tea. It's all good, it's all good. Well fed and I changed route. Still gonna cross the mountain, but now following the trail I plot out first in Kamut because uh, in certain place there was a big... I couldn't really see the trail from the satellite map, so I was a bit afraid I had to come back or get stuck in a, in a very hiking trail where you have to kind of climb a meter, two meters rocks. All right. Time to cross the mountains. It's four o'clock, it's a bit late. I would have thought to get here earlier, but it is what it is. Got stopped by the chief, took my passport, took pictures, put some stone on it, because his phone couldn't focus, and then he told me I was on the wrong road. No way I'm on the wrong road. I just take the panoramic way. The higher I get, the colder it is. The wind is very cold. Okay, even the alternative route was a no-go. The, the chief didn't let me go through. I had to go through these mountains and uh, he put me on this other trail because he said that trail was a no-go. He told me it was impossible to go well by. And uh, yeah, so he told me to use this trail. Then before that, they called uh, someone that speaks English. I think of a police guy. He spoke a little bit of English. And he told me, the route I'm trying to do is very dangerous. 
Bec because it's a desert and there is no water. These fucking canyons are killing me. Rose and last night was very cold. I slept in here. I slept in uh, this room. And uh, my thermometer said inside there was minus two. So I think uh, outside was minus uh, five, minus six. And yeah, the, the ice. Oh yeah, recap. Last night, uh, the, the chief on the other village followed me and didn't let me go up the trail in the mountain. So we did some trail to this village and he told me I could go another four, three villages and then turn left to cross the mountains. But the problem is that crossing this village, there are loads of canyons and it's very, very tough. It's very, very tough because uh, it must have rained uh, in October, November, and the trails are um, are gone in some places. There are some little canyons that maybe it's not like a huge canyon. It may be like a couple of meters uh, wide and uh, a couple of meters deep, but it's it's a problem. Uh, brought breakfast with some butter, some honey, some bread, and some tea. Good, very good. This is my third attempt to cross this fucking mountain range. It's getting cloudier and cloudier. It's 12.30 and it's uh, 0 0.5 degrees. It's cold, it's cold. And I still have to go up a lot. It's gonna be a hell of a climb. Why? Why do I do this to myself? It's so crazy. I could have gone through the paved road. Every now and then there is a flake of snow coming down. I'll be worried. Now I'm here. I need to fully commit. All right, the first hill is done. Now I'm gonna tackle this one and it start to snow a little bit more. Look at the snow. It's very little. Now I don't know what to do. Seriously. The cloud is getting lower. I'm on top of the second hill. The weather is getting worse. I don't know what to do. The situation is not improving. Just saying. I have 600 meters of elevation gain to climb. It's, it's terrible. Look now, it's snowing a lot. We can actually ride this bit. Hopefully the weather is improving, but I still have a lot of, to climb. 90% of the trail is a uh, hike a bike. It's easier sometimes to push the bike. Okay. And now, I have this last part. I have enough time to get up there and go down a bit before it's dark. But at least the weather improved. The first pass is getting closer and closer. I think uh, from there on it's hike a bike, but see if I can get to the top within one hour. Brutal, brutal. But see, I was like almost 1500 meters down. The hour it was snowing, 
I thought several times about going back. Now I'm glad I stick with it for the moment. I'll descend for a bit and then I have another climb. Oh, exhausted, exhausted. a single house in this valley even at the top when I was at the top of the mountain I couldn't see anything Tonight is gonna be very, very cold. It's probably the coldest night. And then uh, it starts to warm up slowly, slowly. Still freezing temperature for the next 10 days. But a little warmer. Tonight is gonna be the coldest night. There's someone waiting for me around this corner with a motorbike, two guys. It could be another Le Chef that was in contact with the previous Le Chef. Or it could be Shepard. Or it could be Trouble. They are waiting for me, two guys uh, with the motorbike. And uh, yeah, one guy is Le Chef. And uh, yeah, he told me, you're fucking crazy to go this way. And I told him, you're right, and now I'm here. I need to fully commit. I can't see any village. So I'm not sure where those guys came from. But my route goes up those mountains. So here in the valley, I need to convince them to let me camp. I'm getting really cold, but this guy don't want me to stop. I try to, to tell them I want to pitch my tent for the night because I'm getting very cold. Uh, but they told me to continue. My understanding is that there is a house they want me to get to, but Man, last night I, they made me go until seven o'clock past sunset. I was so cold. And tonight it's much colder and I'm at a much higher elevation. This oak must be at least 1,000 years old. Look how big it is. If up here, I don't see any houses. I'm gonna just hide and pitch my tent. This route in the summer must be so, so, so good. I'm suffering. Today I'm really suffering. It's been tough since this morning. The climbing, the snow, the hike a bike till uh, 2200. Man, it's brutal, brutal day. The shaft broke his wheel. Problem, huh? It's fucked. Look, this is a problem, huh? This valley is one of the best places on earth. Look how beautiful. These century old oaks. No people. Man. Look at this. 
Hope this out that way. What a place! What a place! It was well worth it, the trouble of getting here. I mean, kind of. I'm fucking freezing. What a place. What a place. Out of this world. It's minus two already, but look at this place. Unbelievable. It was well worth it. Insane, insane. Unbelievable. The chef told me I will spend the night in this uh, house. The stove. The tea. Yeah. Some experience. Davide, too? No? He's shy. He's very shy. I think they killed the lamb or the sheep. This is what we're gonna eat. It's kinda sad. That's what happened when the bike travelers show up. Skin in the ship. If you're vegan, no much. Is that thick? I don't know what this is. It is salty in that shit of fat or whatever it is. That's it. It's on the it's on the rock now. That's how the portions are done. Very good. This is the piece of fat that they were salting before. I see what they're doing. They're doing skewers, I think. <laughs>